Perhaps the, the a bigger question would be, as investors, how do we evaluate which smart beta strategy is suitable for us? Or uh, Frederick, one thing. Yeah. Um, he earlier said uh, there were many factors around, them and you could do, uh, you could create very good performance out of thin air. Uh, so it, it's the question is how do you choose and trust your your factors? The uh, academic. Um, Advice on this is to rely on the existence of uh, empirical evidence on, by multiple independent studies covering multiple uh, markets, multiple periods. Mm -hmm. So you look for empirical evidence that these factor tilts have outperformed in the past. But you need to go beyond uh, this uh, real view, this mirror view, and um, also require your factors to be justified by economic rationales, asset pricing models, or, or more qualitative uh, rationales for, for, for this. So that's uh, uh, the first thing you, you, you have to do. Make sure that there is empirical evidence supporting the, uh, the factor and a good story uh, for, for the factor. And this collapses the number of uh, potential candidates from hundreds to just a few, uh, few factors. Uh, so that's the first thing. Then you have to be, uh, to be beware of complexity in the factor uh, definitions because as, uh, if you trust this academic literature that est establishes these, uh, these factors, you have to respect it to some extent. And not, uh, so when you see uh, a lot of complexity uh, enhancements uh, relative to these uh, classic definitions of factors, beware because you could be mining factors that, that do very well in uh, the sample as a result of your enhancements, but may not be uh, there uh, tomorrow. Uh, be aware of multiple, multiple uh, ad hoc constraints in your portfolio constructions, which also introduce some model, uh, model risk, um, the risk of uh, picking up model mining, and uh, keep an eye on diversification uh, as well. So um, Investors should be uh, doing qualitative analysis of the products uh, on, these, uh, on these bases, but they can also perform quantitative analysis, run the uh, numbers they are provided with uh, through uh, their uh, analytical, analytical uh, tools uh, to try and understand what is the relative uh, robustness of the product, as, as in how oh, consistent has been the, the performance, uh, has been the performance of, the, of the product in the same uh, market circumstances and also look at the absolute performance and understand uh, how the product behaves in different market uh, conditions. So that's through this quant qualitative and quantitative approach people can uh, get uh, a level of comfort with uh, these smart beta products which are largely uh, being marketed on the basis of simulated performance. So it's important to understand how much of this simulated performance can translate into a future 